I just got back from Pat's house, and ever since Pat's house, I'm feeling pretty cool, feeling good. Want to uh, try a little bit harder in my melee gameplay. Also, a little uh, disclosure, I'm recovering from the tournament. My voice <laughs> isn't fully here yet, so bear with me. <laughs> in the past, when I've tried to play more seriously, I have a, a little bit of uh, mentality issues, but I think I'm in a place now when I can do it a little better. So today I'm in a play, play set, and then when I finish the set, I'm going to have three things I did well, and I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to have three things I did that I can improve, or that I did poorly. And then I want to talk about my favorite interaction that happened the entire set, and something that impressed me about my opponent. And I'm going to do that every time. And hopefully that can maintain my, my chill levels uh, if ranked gets really hard today. Alright, we are starting at Platinum 1. We got a Sheik to start here. I seem good. That's nice corner pressure. Okay. They're, they're solid. Getting in on Sheik is, has been historically tricky for me. And for every Falcon that's ever existed. Cool. Can I get the kill here? Oh. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, no, they're, they're good. Okay. I've been able to knee that, but I'm not gonna be too risky yet. Cool. Nice up there. Can I get this? Nice. Sometimes there's really hard DI on that. Wow, what was that? Okay. One grab kind of seals the deal here. Are they going to go for ledge? One grab might seal the deal for them, too. Nice. Got it that time. I'm going to get grabbed again, though. I run back in against Jeek. And, yeah, okay. <laughs> Three things that I did well. I was pretty solid on confirms. I just, like, got nice kills. I want to compliment my edge guards too. And attitude was fantastic. <laughs> Normally she can make me feel terrible, so that's good. Three things I can improve on. Maybe I didn't mix up my approach enough, because I feel like whichever character gets more openings just wins. That's how Falcon Sheik is. It's so brutal. Combo escape was okay. I think I was rushing at the end, so I think I should not rush at the end of a game. Uh, I did not use platforms a lot. When I try harder, I forget that I have maybe top 10 movement in anyone who's ever played Melee. Like, I need to abuse that as much as possible. People don't know where I'm going half the time, so I can't forget that. I think my favorite interaction that I remember is game one. There's a scramble, and then I tried to end the scramble by doing a Waveland Tomahawk grab, and they got away from it. So they were just like a step ahead. But I think that was high level, and that was pretty interesting. God's only son, okay. That was super good. Cool. Oh, I really tried to, I wanted the power shield out by a whole heart. I don't know if that's used that much in the ditto, but. Should be dead. Yeah. That upper almost hit. Wow. The only thing you can do there is SDI, maybe.
That was good. Okay. Oh my god, we're the same player. <laughs> I haven't hit one uh, tech chase yet, which is... I feel like I should be better at that in the ditto. Falcon classic. Just come back and knee them. Jeez. That weight was so good. Oh my god. I had to zone in for that. I had to lock in for that T-drop. That was just even. They're... Just getting back. Okay. God. Huge. Nice. That was kind of an awkward up air, but it made it work. Just a boost knee. Yeah. I died out. Oh my god. Wow, are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, three things I did good. Composure, I think I was composed, especially for the ending. <laughs> I think I got out, of, got out of combos decently. I don't really remember how, but I wasn't getting hit very hard and there must have been a reason. <laughs> the timing of my approaches, I mixed up pretty good. Three things I can work on. Definitely recovery, getting comfortable with recovering when I'm playing a set that like matters. <clears throat> Like, comfortable with my creative recovery ideas. Oh, my tech chasing, Scotty. I mean, I just, I didn't hit like a single tech chase. So it was kind of lucky that I hit some punishes. I think three is I need to be comfortable just being creative in general. Because that is probably my best asset as a player. My favorite interaction was game two when we had the exact same start for like 10 seconds. <laughs> and then something that impressed me about God's Only Son was, I think just coming out the gate swinging like, it's intimidating to play your falcon in the first couple stocks. And so I, that's that's what your falcon did that impressed me. Okay, so I need to bait fox. That's the only way to get hits. Like that knee. That was a good knee. Mm, nice, okay. Hmm, nice. getting every up smash that they want and that's the problem well that right there is not a problem at all cool so the question is do i have a better shot going to yoshi's and just being wild or actually trying to figure the fox out in dreamlands there's my tech there Expect the second one. Oh. I've nobody's ever edge guarded that before. That was impressive. Hmm. They went. They went close enough to the bottom. Wow. 
Ah, oh, those are hard. Those are really hard sets to like happen to me. Three things I did that were good against that fox. I had some good stage control on Yoshi's, and there was good adapt adaptation from me because game one was much worse. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and say attitude because that's the thing I'm doing well all day today so far. Things I can improve. So punish. Wow, my punish was bad on that fox. If I was on unranked and hanging out and having having a wild fun time. I might take games on that fox because they were just running at me and that's exactly what I want so I think I got too focused on neutral and, and stuff which can't happen to me I'm not confident against fox players like that and I really should be because I can mess them up I didn't successfully actually like bait the up smash like I've been trying to implement into my gameplay so I still have to work on that all right, my favorite interaction of the set, I think, was that double back air on the right side of Yoshi's. They did a crazy, like, I didn't think they were going to hit me over there. Like, it felt way too far off stage for Fox to be. So that was dope. And the thing my opponent did that impressed me was their punish was actually just really intimidating and really good. I'm trying to be confident here. I need to trust myself because DK's a matchup I know very well. Nice, really good stock. How'd that hit? A lot of Tomahawk grabs for me today, a lot of attempts anyways. I like that I had the confidence to even go for that. That's exciting to me. Nice read there from them. I'm gonna DI out now. Oh, that's the worst time to DI out. <laughs> See that spacing? Oh my god. The actual combo DK does on you will never kill. Remember that. There's always a chance he has to edge guard every time. Hmm, never jump. Never jump in your life. Alright. Hmm, they actually got, finally got the bears they want. Okay. Make it back to stage against against Falcon, I feel like. Oh, that's the second time I did that. Wow. Big mistake. I'm back in it. Mm, nice. I think that's it. God. Three things I did good. Punish, solid. Really good punish on DK. I, I will always have that because of Josh. I recovered pretty well. I think maybe they fell off at the end, but I was doing good recoveries for like two games. I'll say composure was good too. DK and mid-tiers can really get to people's heads. And for the most part, I don't think it was. Three things I can improve. Definitely in between stocks, I'll be very uh, naive, which I feel like a, that's a very easy mistake to make for most people. And it's something that I I kind of play fun, uh, like play and make fun of it, you know, on Unranked. But right there, I lost two stocks at like 60% to just stupid double jumps. So that's, that's the first thing I would improve. Edge guards on DK. Always kind of hard. Always harder than you think, but I can figure it out. Just survivability overall. Falcon can live a really long time against Donkey Kong. And I wasn't. <laughs> Favorite interaction? Probably that that second to last stock when I was bringing it back, the jump read at the end. Whole stock was super good. 
the thing that impressed me about my opponents is doing the right thing at the right time. I feel like they did that the whole the whole set. Oh, I tried. <laughs> I didn't try to do that, but hey. Let's take a break just now. This is the first game coming back. I actually, I actually finished a game when I had an opportunity to finish a game. <laughs> Reversals are scary in Melee. What a grab, excuse me. being cheeky today. Three things I did well. My punish was great. I was making good choices in the punish too, so that's good. I think my neutral was impressive too, and I had a lot of reversals. Confidence. I had a lot of confidence in that set. So that's how I want to play against Fox. Things I can improve on. I still was kind of getting openings unintentionally. Top players have such intent. They're like, I'm gonna do this, they're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna get the opening afterwards. My favorite interaction was, I don't know, it's hard to remember. I'm also doing this reflection thing to try to remember the game, because I don't often do that. And then something that impressed me about my opponent was definitely you had some crazy combo ideas. Well, I tried the trade, and that is a little dumb. Fountain of Dreams, it's gonna look a lot different. Peach, it's gonna look a lot different. That was so cool. Rip. Alright, that's fun. Got too excited. This is the melee experience. That's so tricky to me. I can never, never beat that. The down air back air from Peach is like one of the worst things in the matchup for me.
Yoshi's moment. Falcon moment. Alright. <laughs> GG's. That matchup's freaking weird. Weird and crazy. Good check our ranking, you know. We were plat one. Now we are plat three. Not a bad day at all. I think this may be the highest I've ever been.